the Abrams M1A2, the Army's first battle tank to be fully integrated into the digital battlefield. The M1A2 is the Army's foremost land-based killing machine, a mobile, lethal fortress. Its fearsome reputation has earned it a variety of nicknames. To some, it's the Whispering Death. Quieter than any other tank, the turbine power plant generates an awesome 1,500 horsepower, but purrs like a Mercedes. Propelled close to 45 miles an hour, the M1A2 takes the battlefield by storm, striking like a thunderbolt, but sounding like the wind. They're sprinters. They can achieve their top speed very quickly. They can move from covered concealed position to the next position very quickly, so that you rely upon speed somewhat for security. The coaxial machine gun fires at an astonishing rate of 500 rounds a minute. It can rip a front line to shreds. The tank's main killing power, the 120 millimeter cannon. Equipped with laser sights and thermal sensors, it can knock out targets over two miles away. do it every eight seconds. The brain of the M1A2 is the commander's integrated display. Graphically linked, the commander can see what the gunner is targeting, or swivel his joystick and scan the full battlefield in thermal or optical views. This independent sighting system allows the commander to search for the next target while the gunner is engaging the enemy. It's called the hunter-killer system, and it's deadly efficient. The crew is protected by the latest advances in armor. The depleted uranium hull is only four inches thick, but it provides more protection than 18 inches of battleship steel, giving the M1A2 a weight of only 69 tons. The M1A2 is the bad boy of the battleground, one very powerful link in the digital chain of force that extends to the air.